Well, it finally happened. I was curious as far as when this would happen. I just cleaned all these panels. I had a tree branch off that dead tree right there, which I knew was going to be a problem. Uh, fell and smashed and took out a couple of my panels. There's the behemoths that crush those panels. All the structure and the beam construction and everything else holding all this up is all still great. Completely smashed that one, busted that one up. Yeah, I still can't believe that that happened. It sucks. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and try to order a couple replacement ones with black frames. Currently, I can't find any with the black frames. I can find them in this exact size and this color with the silver frames. Uh, but I've knocked down a lot of the uh, branches off of there and these two that are damaged I'm what I'm going to do right now is just show how I'm going to replace those two um, by pulling them off and swapping out a couple of these on the end and putting them in place of those so that it just doesn't look as bad as it does right now some tools that I'm gonna probably need are an allen wrench because that's the type of tool that it's going to take to take these bolts or nuts out of these that are securing that in place. I'm gonna need a ladder. But first, we gotta turn off the power. We use a micro inverter system from Enphase. For each individual panel has a micro inverter on each individual panel. But before I go even disconnecting these uh, connections to those panels, uh, I'm just to be safe gonna go ahead and kill kill all the power to the entire array. That last one there runs a, an Envoy that's in this box, but I'm gonna go just turn them all off. So everything is all off. There's no power to these at all. As you can see, they're registering that there's no power. And we're gonna go ahead and start knocking them out. So we've got the power off. There's really only a couple connections to these uh, in-phase microinverters. You've got your connections here, which you can pinch on the side of these. Try to do this one handed here, and you're going to disconnect both of these. It says do not disconnect under load. So we got those two disconnected off of there for the panel. And then you're going to have, well, actually that's, that's it. Because this still feeds into the trunk line and everything, but that's still there. So the panel has just got those two connections. Crunchy. It's pretty gross. Let's see if we can get this guy popped off again. From up on top. Yep, it's pretty crispy. I'm going to end up having to undo three of these pieces here. And so, again, we're going to take these three off up here. And then I'm going to do it, same thing on those three that are down there. One, two, and three, since these are in the middle. And that'll free up this, uh, free up this crispy guy to get him pulled off of here. After taking these off, seeing this floppy guy, you can see where, obviously one of them hit, branch hit here, just broke that completely back off this frame. And I'm, there was another big impact right there and just spidered it out. And just got it but I mean honestly the rest of these they some of them did take a little bit of a hit they're pretty sturdy considering and this ground mount system that was done uh, I mean it took a pretty good hit and it didn't seem to budge that at all so I, I give props to whoever designed the, the ground mount system I'm having a little trouble reaching these bottom ones I had a thought of laying a blanket down on here but then I kind of got resourceful I forgot I had a tractor with a scoop so I'm just gonna lock it in place and crawl up in there and it should give me access to those one down well both of those out of there I can now see right there at the top where it impacted that beam it did take a little chunk out of it but luckily yeah, it's still standing strong I've held on to the clips 
I'm gonna go now and unhook these two, just do them one at a time and replace these up here. Just gotta unhook these end panels here again, making sure that they're not under any kind of load, making sure that the uh, breakers are still off over there. Disconnects that one. And then we're gonna disconnect this one down here. Okay, those two are now plucked from the end and ready to be transplanted over to there. So I'm gonna take one at a time and get them set up. And it's a good idea to find a stick or a pencil or something on the ground and have somebody help you, but you're gonna to need to use something as a spacer. As you can see, these spacings are set by these brackets, but in between the two rows, there's also a gap or a space. And so I know it's hard to see, but they're not touching. So it's about the size of my pinky. I need to find a stick that I can stick in there. And then when I slide those in, they'll only go in the right height and then I can put those brackets on and you can adjust it once it once it sits up there I'll show you it's kind of ironic I'm actually gonna prop the camera up on the tree that broke these in the first place so ignore the stick that you see there what I'm gonna do here all the rest of this seems like it's fairly well secured I'm gonna feed the panel up and then just set it to rest it on top of there for now and then I'll show you how I'm gonna do that again You want to make sure that you're not smashing your cables. But those are going to connect connect into there. I've got to go up top and make sure I get the brackets uh, secured in there. But I found a stick. It's about the gap of what these are, and so you can go ahead and slide it up. Put a stick in there and that'll leave you that gap that we're talking about there's my stick peeking up down there keeping those from going in i've got these brackets slid in place uh, i'm going to tighten them down just a little bit but i will say i wouldn't tighten them down all the way because you may need to shift this over when you get that last one in there when you're doing these ones in the middle uh, it's entirely possible you'll have to come back and kind of tap on it and get it to push over just to make sure you get them all in. And when we do the middle part over here, we'll have to push up and slide that bracket in to get that one finished. Second verse, same as the first, a little louder and a little worse. There's a, I've got my clip for this side, clip for that side. I'll have to feed the last clip on from the other side which is why I've kind of left them a little bit loose. But I think I'm ready to feed this one up here. I'm gonna see if I can feed it up at an angle and then set it in place. And I've got my trusty stick, so let me get that fed up here. got to put the stick in and then I got to go up there and get that clip. There's that impact point where it came through that previous one. I didn't ever see that until we took them off. It must have hit pretty hard, but then again, <laughs> this is a pretty big tree. Um, since I pulled one off the bottom and one off the top and I'm replacing both on the top, you can see that the clips didn't quite line up 100%. Uh, that's all right though. I don't really care. A couple of a couple of rings, you'll never be able to tell. So this is going to be the last one to make sure you get spacing right. It's kind of a tight fit, but just line it up on there and kind of get it shoved in there. And then when you crank down, crank.
crank down on these. I don't know how these work anyway. You can see them if those things work is it cranks down into there and spreads out the bottom part too, which will pull this down and it holds it on there. That's, that's how these clips work. Yours may be different. Uh, and if you've got a different set, I don't know entirely what to tell you, but uh, that's how these work. And these have been up here for about eight years now with zero issues aside from our little tree friend. So let me get these cranked down. And then I've got to go down and crank that one down Put that one in place and tighten that one down and we'll show you how it looks with these micro inverters by in phase the only thing there is left to do is just plug them back in the the inverter itself hasn't changed position so it's just a matter of plugging the new ones in again not under load or anything i still got everything off so we're gonna get those plugged back in and I've got to plug this side in over here and then go hit the main switch and make sure nothing gets fried. But those are all in. It's a good idea to go ahead and secure your cords. I didn't do that with this one. But they've got little cord clips that they put on this. So now that, that one's secured and on, that one's secured and on. We're ready to go hit the master switch again inverters haven't changed so all my systems in my phone and everything will not have changed and there you have it everything is back the way it should be sans two panels can you see which two they were did i go too fast for you those two right there because i can still see the dirt right around the clip but they, uh, they'll blend in fine because they're the exact same panels and the same age and same everything else. Uh, down here, I'm not going to show this, but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove this piece and tuck this trunk line back up underneath there on both those micro inverters uh, so that it cleans us up and they're not getting weathered. And for now, I will leave this and the clips and the inverters and everything here in hopes that I can find a couple of panels that match the right size with black frames that look the same. I can't get these anymore. Maybe I can find some used ones though on a second hand uh, scrap deal to add back in here. If I can, great. If I can't, I uh, can cut these poles and put the caps in and, and nobody will ever be able to tell the difference. It'll just be a 38 panel system instead of a 40. But so far, I'm much happier with it the way it looks now than I did with the big bash out of the top. So. Hopefully this helps anybody that's looking to swap out some panels due to some damage and try to clean it up, make it look a little nicer. Maybe you're getting ready to sell your house or maybe you just don't like me, you don't like to look at it. And if this helped you, please feel free to like and subscribe and we'll see you here next time. Thanks for watching.